Hello everybody, Masa Harding and welcome to my channel Masa Harding Art. Today I thought I'd uh, show you that how I make my greens and greys. This is um, a setup for greens and greys. Um, I only use five colours regardless. Uh, Cabin yellow light, permanent lids and crimson, titanium white, ultramarine blue and burnt upper. They're the only colours I use, as you can see. Ultramarine blue, burnt umber, permanent lives and crimson, cabinet yellow light, and uh, titanium white. They're the only colors I use in acrylics, and I use Atlia at the moment. Any, any acrylic brand will do, as long as it's uh, artist quality. <clears throat> so I'm going to mix greens first, and then I'm going to mix grays. Now first... I, had, I won't be using much lids and crimson today because it's uh, not really, it's to darken greens really. So basically to make my, my basic uh, green, I just put cabin yellow light and ultramarine blue. And that makes my basic, that's just my basic green there that's made. It's my basic green that I want it. And if I want to darken it, I'll add some more blue to that. And it'll darken it even more. As you can see, and if I want to darken even more than that, I could use a bit of burnt umber or alizarin crimson. Um, alizarin crimson will make it slightly purpley, but it still makes it green. As you can see, or I could use a little bit of uh, burnt umber there and make it uh, with a little bit of blue and just darken it that way which I usually do. I also, to, to make it really darkish green, I'll um, add a bit of uh, blue and brown just to get a bit of a black color. And you can see here, it darkens it even more. But uh, if you want it uh, real dark, group more green than use lid and crimson. If you want just straight dark green, then just make your own black, just add um, black to it, or make your own black to it here. So I'll make up some some green again with uh, Kevin yellow light and uh, permanent lizard. Now, if I want to make it green really light, I'll just keep adding yellow all the time like this. If I want to darken it, again I'll use more blue, and I'll use titanium white if I want to uh, lighten that here. What I hate make the light green hazy, or the dark green uh, kind of more hazy like that, so like mist. You know what I mean? Like landscapes in the background. So I can see a, a whole variety of greens here. Lots of different greens coming along here. And I can just go ahead and, and do it. This is how I mix my greens up. I just do different parts, all sorts of different greens here I've got. That's how I mix my greens. Now for my greys. For my greys on this side, basically... I'll put some more blue on here actually. For my greys, first and foremost I mix up a, a black. I, I mix a, a black with 60% ultramarine blue and 40% burn umber. Now as you can see that's, um, that's pretty black. Can't get much blacker than that. And from here, I just want to add some more some more greys. So if I want it more bluish grey, I'll just put more blue on here. And if I want it to be more brownish grey, I'll just add more brown along here. Now, to make it uh, a proper grey, I'll add white to it. So this is your natural proper grey right here. As you can see here, and I'll just keep adding white until I get um, the grey I want. And I can have also, this is your natural grey. 
Now, because this has got more blue in it, it's going to be a bluish gray, as you can see. So you might want a bluish gray rather than natural gray. And you just add more white to it until you can get that more bluish gray. As you can see, this here is a more natural gray, and this here is more kind of bluish gray, simply because I added more blue to the to the to the brown. And that's how I get all my colors with my um I mix me I make my own blacks and grays with uh sixty percent ultramarine blue and forty percent blue number and then add white to that. And if you want it more bluish grayish you add more blue to it and then just natural gray you just add more brown to it, burnt humber to it. Um, I mix my own grays through that, 60% ultramarine blue, 40% bone number. That's how I mix my own blacks and grays. I don't buy black tube from a paint, I just mix it. And for my own greens, I don't mix green from a, uh, a tube because there's so many greens out there. I basically mix them with cadmium yellow light, French ultramarine blue, and if I want to darken it more, I add more French ultramarine blue. And if I want to make it really dark, I'll add that brown to that as well and if I want to make it kind of like a hazy mauve brown like this here I'll add French ultramarine blue so this is how I make my greens and blacks and grays I mix my colors I don't buy tubes of black or or green this is the only five colors I have here that's all I use and so this is how I did I used to buy greens like uh, sap green and phthalo green and there's so many different greens out there, I got bored and confused with it, and it wasn't really working for me. So I decided to mix my own greens. Uh, the best way to mix your own greens is with uh, either a lemon yellow or a cabin yellow light with a uh, French ultramarine blue um, or a phthalo blue. They work well. Um, there are other blues that don't work so well. P Persian blue is a good blue as well. And to mix my own blacks, I don't buy black from the tube anymore. I just use uh, French ultramarine blue and burnt number to mix my own blacks and greys. And that's how I do that. So that's the best way I work around it. Rather than buying lots of different tubes of of various blacks and greens, there's so many of them that confuses you. So this is how I keep it nice and simple and tight. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, subscribe, and bang that bell, guys. We'll catch you guys later.